We are in Chodesh Adar, Chodesh Elo, I'm sorry. It is the month, the last month of the year, and it's time to make a recollection of the past whole year and look forward for the rest of the year, the next coming year. Chodesh Elul is a time that we have to connect to God. One of the most known letters of Elul is Ani Ledoidi Vedoidi Li. I am to you and you are to me. What is needed these days is an avoida, a service, a repentance that comes from the person himself. That's Ani. The main work is our service. Where are we holding? Where are we holding in our life? What have we accomplished this whole year? And how do we connect to God even more nowadays? And then we get a hamshacha from above, a drawing down from above, that is the doidi, the doidi. That you get a hamshacha from God. But we know, no matter what we try, no matter what business we go in, no matter how much we try to have kids, no matter how much we try to do anything, we need the help of God. Without the help of God, we are nothing. Whether to be sustenance, health, anything. God is in control. So I don't understand. If the whole point of Elul is to Start it off with your being. How can I get close to Tashem? Where am I holding a life? And I want to get clean, I want to cling to God even more now because I saw how far I got. So We're, so why do why do we get a revelation from God? So we get the Yud Gimomidi Sarachamim. That gives us strength. It helps us out to want to get close to to Hashem, and that's why the King comes into the field. And we know that the first letters of Elul is Kael, Aleph Lamid, which that is the first of the 13 attributes of passion. So we know that Chodesh Elul represents the 13 attributes of passion, which that comes as a giving strength to us. And when we do our service, we cling to God. Until we become one with God. That our whole being is, is and infused with godliness. That we don't even try to do anything which does not represent God. And that's how we cling to God. That not only we are our knee, but we're totally nullified. Which our knee comes from ayin. 
from nothingness. That all our physical desires are not. All our physical desires are not, not in existence at all. We want to connect to God. And that's how we become one with God. Because uh, Aleph represents the Alufa Shalaylam, godliness, the way it's connected to the world. And then Aleph also represents Ana, which is Anaychi, represents godliness which is higher than the world. And this is connected with the five psukim which come out from the, from the Elul. So it's ina li yodai v'sam tilach, that is Torah. Ani li doi divdoi li is tefillah, davening. Ina li yodai v'sam tilach represents the Ari Miklat. That Torah is a Ari Miklat. Torah is a city of refuge. That if you are, if you, if you have your evil inclination pulling you, Put yourself in Torah, that is the city of refuge. Like it says, that if you have evil inclination, you run to the shul. And with the shul, the Yitzhahara runs away from there. But sometimes we pull him in. And that's how we are disturbed from davening. We're talking about if they smash with the Kaila Taita. It's how it runs away. That is repentance. You give your heart to God. That is charity, kindness. And then we have our Shira La Hashem by Yoimru Leimer, which that is part of the song they sang by. By the splitting of the sea. And that is Elo, represents the Gula, redemption. We know that Torah avoided gemils chasadim. That is the way the world exists. The world exists on Torah, tefillah, and tzedakah. You can't have a world without Torah to tell us what to do and act like a human being, which Dafki Yidna called the Adam a man. Tefillah is speaking to God and Gemach, charity. So those are the three things. Those are more intertwined with human beings. That's the Niran, Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama of the person which comes into the being. Those three parts of Neshama comes into the person. And then you have tshuva is chaya, and the uh, gula is yechida, which that is one with Hashem. That's all be completely one with Hashem with Mashiach. But the whole idea is that how do we connect to God? Those are, those are the things of how we connect to God, and that's how we can come for doidi li also. Now all the great Ashpais come into the world. But the main thing is to cling to God. Be connected to God. Don't be connected to your feelings. Don't be connected to your physical pleasures. Or even spiritual pleasures.
Like it says, you cannot indulge even in good things. So there's a story with the uh, Baal Shem Tiv, That some was so involved in his steak or in his piece of meat on Shabbos that he turned into a cow. So Baal Shem Tiv took around his, put his hands around his tummy and they saw a cow with all the clothing of a Jew. Why? Because he was so, in, he indulged in it, he became part of it. So therefore, let's cling to God. That's the whole idea of Ani Lidoidi I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. Let's connect to God with kindness, with happiness. I will draw down the kindness of God. And as Hashem, through doing all those five things, permeating all your your teira vaydik mitzchasad with tshuva, which tshuva repentance makes your actions maisim toivim or meirim. Good deeds and lit up. And Goula, let's live Goula, Dick. Not, not involved in all your troubles of Gurlam Haza. Release the pressure. Release your soul. Let your soul just be open and revealed. Because we learn Tata. And we do mitzvahs. And we internalize our teda. And as Hashem will go to the Gula Amitit Sashlema in the most revealed sense. And then it will be Az Yimale Schoik Pinu. But it won't be an Eifen of Az. But I'll be in a even of Shmini. Because when Mashiach comes, it'll be higher than us. And Be'ez Hashem, this year will be Teish Nas Pedus. That no matter how low we are, we can go towards the Gula Amitis Vashlema. So Be'ez Hashem, we will actually enter the Gula in this year, Tehesh Nas Pedus, a redemption from all our troubles and pains, and go to the Gula Amitis Vashleim Ma'imti right now. Long live our Master, Teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our Master, Teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our Master, Teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever.